I came to the first workshop and I have to say it was an absolutely magical experience. A few months ago we were approached by Mother Tongue and they were looking for us to partner with them on their work to include refugees and people seeking international protection in Ireland in their language explorers workshops. Glencree has been running a Glencree Welcomes Refugees project for the last nine months and this is specifically looking at well-being needs of refugees and people working with them. We're using a combination of arts-based approaches and Capacitar practices. Capacitar International is a program that is designed for wellness and trauma healing. It comprises a number of different practices involving deep breathing, tai chi, finger holds, emotional freedom technique and others and has been running for the past 35 years. It's my pleasure this time to work with Fernanda Ferrari who's an artist, a storyteller and we are putting together our skills herself with her magic and myself with a background of art, dance and movement to bring to the children and parents the opportunity to stay together, to connect, to use their mother tongue, to have a bit of space in their lives and to have fun. I have been working with mother tongues doing language explorers for now one year, probably we did 40 of these workshops for families and children between three and six years old and always having been an amazing experience for me. This project in particular is really special because we have new elements and because we are connecting with people in a situation of displacement. One of the aspects is the language. Normally I facilitate workshops for children who speak English and have the family language in the background. Here we have a lot of children who doesn't speak English and some parents who also don't speak English. And the other aspect I suppose that we discussed with Mother Tongues and that we were able to offer some support on was actually just engaging specifically with parents and, and children from refugee backgrounds here in Clondalkin. Because what we find in Glencree with our work is that refugees are often very cut off from the local populations and uh, you need to kind of connect directly with them proactively, you need to build up trust and relationships in order for them to see that actually this is something for them. I think this project where it brings families, parents and children together is so vital, it's so rich. Allowing people to be in a setting where they are welcomed warmly and I've seen that happen and I've seen how people just are themselves when they're in this kind of a setting and the art I think brings that to the fore you know where people can lose themselves a little bit and have fun you know it's so, so important for people to have fun and I think we often forget that as as adults we forget the importance that adults need to have fun as well as children and to see the parents and children have fun together with such an enthusiastic artist who is fun personified the structure of the workshop, I start with the storytelling, sharing my story as a, when I was a kid and how I moved to Ireland. So that's the first way to connect with their own story. And then we have some exercise from Capacitar doing the storytelling and doing the whole workshop that is one hour and a half. After that, I propose for them to create some art project but the idea is for the parents and the children create that together, so it's not just for the children. We encourage the parents to be creative and simple, have some fun and be in the present and forget about what is outside. I came to the first workshop and I have to say it was an absolutely magical experience. Fernanda is the fairy coming down from the sky with her sky blue skirt and air puppetry and the children were just enthralled and also the parents. The parents were asked for the words in their own languages. I'd say it's an experience they've never had before. The way that Mother Tongues and Fernanda have organised the workshop, it gives everybody time to kind of land and to feel that this is for them. And the choice of art materials, the sheer luxury of giving people all of those materials 
all of those things that they wouldn't normally have in, in their own lives. And then the way that Patty and Fernando work together, and I know Marion as well. I've never seen Capacitor really done with children before. We, we use it with, with adults. So to see the kids really hanging on the facilitator's words and actions, and again, the parents as well engaging in that. Working with Capacitat was a, a really amazing experience because it's also how to share something that's really important in a way that people don't feel that we are trying to help them because they need us. So I'm always thinking how we can be here in a really nice way that we are not trying to help anyone, but we are listening then, we are incorporating their presence in the space and we want to hear their story without asking them too much. So I think the experience that we are having, it's really amazing. The project is very interesting and um, very different. It's different to other projects I've worked on. I've worked with children. My background is in early childhood education, training people who work with children under the age of five and teachers. So I have brought the capacitor into school settings and into preschool settings, working with teachers, parents and children. I have never worked with an artist in this way. And I just find it is so inviting and it's so much fun. Uh, it's very, very different to anything I've done before. And it's the spontaneous way that you can bring Capacitor into the art, into the story and into the setting that um, it, it, it intrigues me really that it's, it's another avenue that Capacitor can be brought into and so I'm really excited about that. It's very experimental this work but Glencree is absolutely delighted to be involved with Mother Tongues and uh, to, to include the Capacitor uh, practices and we're learning lots from it and it's, it's a very carefully uh, structured programme because there's evaluation and recording built in so that we'll have lots to discuss when the programme is over. We're already hoping to partner in a programme with Mother Tongues for next year.